Miss Meeks, the best teacher in the world. Today we're looking at facts and opinions. This is a bit trickier than it seems, but I can give you some helpful tips to make sure you can tell them apart. Firstly, am I really the best teacher in the world? I just told you I was, didn't I? My mum certainly thinks so, but I've probably taught some students who disagree. You know who you are. I just stated an opinion as if it were a fact. Sneaky. What is an opinion? It's something unproven or unprovable. For example, Marmite is delicious. Some of you will totally back me on this and others will be thinking, yuck, you are nuts. Even if I said it like a fact, it's really an opinion. What about this then? Marmite costs £2.70 at my local supermarket. That's a fact. Well, it might cost £3.20 or £1.80 tomorrow, however I can check the price online or visit the store and check the cost. So it's provable and the majority of people will agree. There are always a few people who dispute facts and sometimes we learn that our facts are wrong. But don't let that confuse you. When you're analysing text in English, you don't need to go and fact check every single thing. You just need to identify what is most likely a fact. So let's read source C about working as a film set electrician at Amazing Studios and find some facts and opinions zooming in on a few key pieces. Amazing Studios is seeking apprentice and experienced technicians. What do we think? Fact? or opinion. Seems to me like a fact. They're advertising for new electricians to join them, so it makes sense. We employ more than 2,400 electricians. Statistics and numbers like this are treated as facts in your English paper. This is also really specific, so seems like a fact. It's not an opinion because it can be checked. About 40% of our work is on location around the world. Again, this is a specific statistic, so we should treat it as a fact. If it said something like, our workers give 110%, then it wouldn't be a fact because it's just an exaggeration. So you're not supposed to take that seriously. There's plenty of exciting travel too. Sometimes phrases like this can trip you up, those sneaky examiners. This phrase contains both a fact and an opinion. The fact is there's plenty of travel to do. The opinion is that the travel is exciting. If you come across something like this in the exam and aren't sure, you can always look for better examples. Amazing Studios is a brilliant place to work where everyone feels welcome. Well, this is definitely an opinion. There's probably someone there who doesn't like their job or doesn't feel welcome, even if most people do. Words like good, bad, exciting, boring, best and worst are always mostly opinions.